Today's video might possibly be one of the more boring and mundane videos I've ever made, but perhaps it'll be of interest to some of you guys. I'm just gonna be making a simple little repair to my rainwater harvesting system, and based on a lot of the feedback I got from the last video, a lot of you guys are definitely interested in that subject. Uh, so anyway, if uh, you remember back to the last video, you might remember I showed a clip of how I have my rainwater tanks uh, removed from my house and how I pipe it into the ground and over there. Well, when I was getting that clip, I uh, was manipulating those pipes on that tan tank back there to uh, make sure they looked good on camera. And one of them was kind of just tilted a little bit and I moved it and it broke the joint down uh, below the ground level. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what happened and then I'm gonna show you how I repaired it and perhaps it will be of interest and if it isn't, then I guess you can just skip to the next video. And uh, anyway, I'll show you that and then I'll talk about what is to come next in the next few videos. So here's a closer look at my predicament. You can see the break happened right at the elbow that connects to the pipe that runs up and into the tank. And unfortunately, I did not leave enough room in between here and this fitting for me to simply cut through the pipe and then just sleeve another fitting on as well as the fact when I was digging all of this up, I poked through this tank right here. And at this point, I've just decided to recreate everything from here. Um, I'll still use the existing pipes because these are just friction fit anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but basically, I'm gonna recreate this. Um, and a little explanation if you're wondering why these connect. Um, basically, these two big pipes come from two separate runs of my gutters and it's just a volume thing so basically more pipe for the more volume of water and the reason these are connected is because when i drain the water from these tanks occasionally uh, like in the winter months when we're going to have hard freezes i want to be able to drain both sides of the pipe so obviously if the drains on that side it needs a way to connect so that all this water gets drained so now i'm going to cut this out and i'll rebuild this and basically get it operational. Quickly, if you're wondering what this plastic bag is for, that was a really quick fix for me to plug this pipe with some concrete so that the other uh, inlet pipe would allow rainwater to flow until I could get this dug up and ultimately repaired. And what I did is I just put some wet concrete inside a trash bag and stuck it in there as a plug. And the reason for that is to allow the concrete to cure just in case we did get a rain. Um, ultimately the rain would wash it out if it was still wet and not cured. So that was just a way to allow the concrete to cure while still plugging the pipe and allowing the inflow of rainwater. Okay, so you can see I have tried to match the spacing of these pipes with the old setup. 
uh, but the only difference is that I left a little bit more space right here so that in case I ever did need to do a future repair <laughs> that would have saved me all this trouble um, I could simply cut here and just use a coupling to add a new piece on and I've just extended this out for the same reason so that I can be able to repair it and now what I'm going to do is cut this long piece off I'm just going to reuse all of this with the threaded end cap for draining and then I will install it on the pipes. I've got everything glued and in place and what I'm going to do now is just insert the old existing pipes inside these couplings but I'm not going to glue them that way I can take them off and adjust things if I need to or if I end up ever switching out this rain tank for another one hopefully I can put the other one there pop the pipes out and then uh, you know change the length accordingly So it should be functional and ready for rain at this time. Got everything glued that will be underneath the ground and then I just got the top pipes fitted and it's pretty much ready for rain. And if you listen real close, I think we are going to get a storm so this couldn't have been finished at a better time. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is go get some wash sand uh, just to backfill the pipes. Uh, I'll work it underneath a little bit and then probably put two or three inches on top that way it'll protect the pipes and then i will backfill it with all of the regular dirt that's got you know some larger size rocks and that's pretty much it and then i'll let you guys go And there you go, it's all backfilled and ready for full operation again. And I'll just show you this real quick. I always stack some rocks up down here where my drain outlet is. And they're not mortared or anything, basically, so I can potentially do any repairs. But this is the outlet that I unscrew to completely drain all of my pipes. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me past all this wind, but just as I was backfilling the pipes with sand, we got a really good rainstorm and there's still a little bit of water trickling through the pipes, so the timing couldn't have been better. And if you look back over there, well, it doesn't show up in, on the screen, but there's another front coming this way. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to get this filled up. I'll show you. Well, the system is officially back in service and I gotta admit it is a huge relief, especially being that we are in monsoon season right now and you saw just a couple of clips ago, it couldn't have been at a more perfect time to get it finished because we got, uh, I think, three or four tenths of rain, uh, which is huge for us, especially when uh, that's our primary water source. Uh, so anyway, um, I don't know if it was the most uh, interesting video, uh, but for those of you who are interested in maybe doing something like this yourself, Sometimes you got to make repairs and, uh, you know, maybe if I would have done a few things differently when I originally installed it, that wouldn't have been an issue. But, hey, you know what? You live and you learn. Um, I don't know if you can hear my neighbors. Uh, they have two little baby goats that are uh, that were rejected by their mom. I guess she just didn't want to feed them. Uh, so they are basically living off of the milk that Marley and my wife are milking from our mama goat. And uh, anyway, so if you're wondering what the little uh, baby goat noises in the background, that's what's going on. Really cool. They're super cute. And uh, 
I don't know, maybe I'll get him in on one of the next uh, kind of goat homesteading oriented videos. Uh, anyway, if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button for similar content. Um, as for the next videos, um, the next thing I'm working on is a little truck rack for my truck. Uh, basically modifying one I found on Craigslist for a good price. And then uh, we're going to be going camping, uh, so maybe we'll have a couple of camping videos to follow. So, as always, I will see you guys next time.